the usual response for government to be quick to blame the tax owners. If you would recall the incidents of burning of trucks, especially around the Nyanga, Philippi area, it's been going on for a while. It's not something new. It's been happening long before there was this much. There have been incidents where buses have been burned, but those were not related to us. And even the incidents that happened this morning are not taxi related. It's a continuation of what has been going on and which might even continue to happen even after the march because the two are not related. But it's easy for SAPS and the Department of Transport whenever a bus has been banned to say it's a taxi industry. And yet even when the buses were banned, as the buses were banning, buses were still operating around Nyanga, picking up people not being disrupted by us. In fact, when we got there with our working committee, then the burning of the buses came to, to an end because we could intervene to ensure that buses can move freely because we wanted this to be a peaceful march. We did not want any violence to be associated with this march. And we have even undertaken to work with the police if we identify, because there are lots of hooligans in the township who take advantage when there is a strike, they wake up at 4 o'clock. Our meeting time was seven at Nyanga, but by then already some buses had been banned. It could not have been us.